Hi guys, today we're doing a pretty simple task in the truck camper renovation. We are changing out our RV thermostat. These are just a, a temperature, maybe bimetal spring thermostat. As the spring gets warmer, it moves and turns the contacts off and on to run the furnace. These are pretty inaccurate. They have a big swing and they're not programmable. I like a programmable thermostat because when we camp when it's cold out, we like it cold overnight and then it's nice if it gets nice and warm before you have to get out of bed in the morning. So just a simple programmable thermostat. This is a Honeywell RTH 221B. Pretty simple programmable thermostat, relatively cheap to buy. Uh, we put exactly the same one in the diesel duchess, which worked really well. So to put it in here, we take the thermostat off the wall, which we already did when we did the wallpaper. Uh, these wires have big connectors on them to go on these screw terminals. On the new thermostat, we have this small terminal block with small set screws. So we're gonna remove those connectors first. I think there might be some misconception with the thermostats because household thermostats like this are listed as 24 volt thermostats and in an RV our furnace runs on 12 volts. Really, it's just a DC thermostat. It opens and closes the contact. So it doesn't really matter. These work fine. We need to, we're only using, we're only using two connectors on this big connector bar here. On a furnace you might have AC and fan controls and things like that. We're here, we're only off and on. It either closes the contacts or opens the contacts. So the only ones we're using are R and W. R being the 12 volt power and W being the other end of the circuit to turn the furnace on. So first thing we need to do is determine which one is the R. We have two red wires so we really have no way to tell. I just have my voltmeter here. I'll measure between the two and see which one's positive. Okay, so that way's positive. So I know the one on the right is my R 12 volt positive. So we'll hook that one up. So I've hooked up the R, the 12 volt positive and the C wire or W wire, sorry, to the thermostat and screwed it to the wall. I didn't use a level because your camper has to be completely level to be able to use a level and really is the camper ever completely level? It's close, but I just did looky level. So it looks level and uh, this thing just plugs in as you hook it on. I have two batteries in there that retain memory when there's no power coming in. That just pushes on and uh, we have a programmable thermostat so we can have it nice and warm when we get up in the morning. So I uh, plugged it in here. I set the time. It's currently 68 degrees in here. If I put it to the heat mode, uh, I call for above 68. So I'll set it for 70 and our furnace should turn on. Oh, there the thermostat just went click. So it signaled or requested the furnace to turn on. The furnace has its little start timer then we should hear it. There it goes. I have the propane off so it's not going to fire propane but and then if we turn it back down it'll go through its little timer and turn off and if we want the furnace off we can turn it off here just like we did with the uh, original RV thermostat with the on and off. And then we can set all our if we want to set up uh, weekly you know throughout the week programs or we do them just a morning turn on thing but you can do the regular programmable thermostat thing. So simple little task anybody can do in their RV. Now my wheels in motion and my 